Hi, what's up, y'all? It's poppin'. It's D. Boss Directs this video by Jamari. It's titled Logan Paul Cannot Accept Reality. And the thumbnail is his, his wife with another older, crusty man. I don't know what's happening now, but it seems to be a lot of drama surrounding these people. Let's see what's going on. Let's watch. At this point, we are mere days away from the Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis boxing oh, match. And there has been a lot of drama surrounding this situation from the start. Of course, with Dylan and Logan's wife and his persistent posting of her former How's lovers, the loss going? he had some forbidden piece of media, apparently, which now has Logan going around flexing a lawsuit while also simultaneously trying to use the well, cop out. And since it's not technically me, him suing Dylan, that he's still following these unwritten rules of boxing. Of course, legit fighters have stepped in to say that it's a bad look for Logan and that this is just not something to do over boxing beef and boxing promotion. And that if he wants to get Dylan back, he should turn him into minced meat in the boxing ring. But instead, he tries to act hard with his lawyers while keeping his comments turned off. People are also accusing Logan of being on the juice. We have crypto zoo really? scam updates. And you even got this clown comparing himself to the all-time great Muhammad Ali. And we are going to be covering all of that and more in today's video. First, I wanted to show you this very short clip from the face-off where people said that Logan had gone too far. Your life's gone downhill ever since you got kicked out of Marcella's gym. Oh, stop. I hear you. Well, look at you. Yeah, you, yeah. you know a little bit. You turned to alcohol. You know a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I thought you, you wanted to go to... You yeah, lost you your friends. Talk about that. See what happens. I am. You say you're trying to see your last comeback and you're going to talk about my dad passing? I empathize with you, Dylan, because for the first time in a while, you're getting a sense of validation that you have mm. not got. I always... So after this clip came out and went viral, yeah. you had a lot of people saying that Logan Paul went too far yeah, here, bringing up the death Aww. of Dylan Dennis's father. And just off that the is, bat, I want to know, how do you guys feel about that? I mean, that's obviously weird. Dylan has been taking a lot of shots at Logan's wife, but a lot of the stuff that he's posted has really just been readily available public images of her. Like to bring up someone who is deceased and then Logan was also that's calling his mom a uh, pay for play woman. I guess I'm just saying Logan has also taken some pretty low blows and was now he's allowed? also suing Dylan and trying to <laughs> bankrupt him during this whole process. Now in regards to that face off, I did find this comment from Dylan very interesting where during one of his recent interviews he discussed the mind state of Logan Paul and how he might be on some other stuff. I come into the room and his mother it's like, oh, like his eyes were like, Logan. Okay. Like he's ready to go. You know how he is. He's on coke bar. and the juice. The bottle, the color of the bottle, the, the color wasn't the prime. He had vodka in the bottle. So he was just ready to go. So I just got in there. You know how it is. You wake up. I get in there and I had the 88 yard. Logan gives me white boy wasted vibes. I would not put that past him. I, I can see it. I, I'm not saying I believe it because <laughs> I don't know with, with drugs that run into this man's system. But I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he's doing this whole WWE performance, so it took me a little bit to get going. I mean, I won't lie to you guys. This man's trolling is just on a whole nother level coming through with the Leo DiCaprio paid for it hat. I've said it before, pretty much every piece of content you see from Logan Paul does come off as a little bit robotic, a little bit like he practices a lot of his lines, a lot of his performance in the mirror beforehand. And during that face off, his eyes did seem to be about that big. Mm -hmm. And despite the lawsuit, Dylan has somewhat been continuing. <laughs> For two seconds, I thought that was Logan in the back. Cheers and with, with, with the woman. To do his thing That's on Twitter part. when it comes to the mocking of Logan's wife. And I think when this whole fight was announced and the promotion really started to come into play, a lot of people like myself didn't even really know who Dylan Dennis was. You might have heard his name in passing. Never. And so for me, I thought this guy was just kind of the average troll. But now I've watched some of his recent interviews and he has dove a little bit deeper about his past and how hard his life has been at times. I blew everything out besides my ACL twice. Uh, the first surgery failed and then I had to get it done again in the same year. So they said it was like being in two car accidents within a year. What did that do to you, both physically and mentally? You know, yeah, you know, bad because you're used to training and being the man and then you're stuck in a brace and not being able to wipe your own ass. You don't know if you're ever going to do the same again. You don't know if you're ever going to get the same opportunities. And also in the flagrant two interview he did with Andrew Scholes, he did dive a little bit deeper into this uh, rock bottom dark place he had reached oh, at some point, you him. know, a couple years back. After suffering these various injuries, losing his father, it seemed like he had actually kind of lost himself in the process. And here's where Logan's nonsense really starts to come into play. This is the clip I was talking about where he pretty much compares himself to Muhammad Ali. 
In the past three years, this I went eight makes rounds me with the best he's on boxer drugs. on the planet. Soared off the top rope in front of 50,000 people. Started a successful business from scratch. And I've been training the entire time. It's funny how all of those things are like half-truths besides the WWE. And I promise, on October 14th, I'm going to knock this bitch ass out. <laughs> Life is war, baby. Life is war. I have been counted out for way too long. And I'm ready to show y'all just how great I am. Period. And let's be honest here. Absolutely nobody yeah. is calling him out. I believe in this fight, he is like a very heavy favorite. And I don't know, just everything this guy does just comes off as very inauthentic to me. And so here's where we get into all the drama with the lawsuit. For those of you guys that don't remember essentially what's going on okay, is that Logan's wife is now suing Dylan Dennis over these pictures that he's been posting onto Twitter. Obviously, they're trying to run up his lawyer fees. I believe they're trying to rack up like some felonies. And honestly, all it just seems like a major overreaction to like some boxing promotion. Because let's be honest. Dylan's really been the only one promoting this fight. Like, if it wasn't for his insistent promotion, I don't think anyone would give a shit that they're fighting. I mean, Logan's posting these little mini documentary statements, and he doesn't even have the balls to have the comments turned on. So it's like, where's the discussion actually going to happen? Yeah, he is bringing the drama. He bringing the drama. If it wasn't around Dylan's Twitter page. Dylan. Either way, Logan says here the excuses are already loading. So if you're being sued up the ass, are you guys still going to fight? Hey, it's, we're supposed to, yeah, but like, what's the point of this? Like, I'm getting another lawsuit, another lawsuit every single day. I have to go to the gym. I got guys waiting at the gym trying to serve me papers. I can't go to the gym. Now they dox my f***ing apartment. And it's just funny because Logan thinks this is such a flex. He says, choose wisely, Dylan. Pull out and pay Logan 100K, ruin reputation forever, lose in federal court, and declare bankruptcy. Or you can fight and get KO'd by Logan, suffer major embarrassment, make some money, lose it all in federal court. Like, no one thinks that you draining another person's bank account who agreed to fight you is badass. Especially when you allegedly okay, still owe a lot of people from your various scam allegations. Well, this will help him pay. And grow some balls and turn the comments on, okay? Only people who he follows can reply and... You only have one guy speaking that real stuff saying, here's the green pill, drop the charges, fight like men, collect the bag, and move on with life. And at one point it was even rumored that Dylan was going to drop out of this fight saying I'm over this shit, peace. And I do got to say, that's one thing that in this situation I feel like Dylan cannot do. Yeah, like if it comes that. down to it and he doesn't actually Isn't end up fighting, it's going to be like all the talk was that's true good. of him being all bark and no all bite. This, yeah. And all of this insistent trolling and promotion would really have been for nothing. Around that same time, he also went on to say... If someone said something about your fiance, would you rather have them jailed by law or be allowed to punch that person for 18 minutes? Give your honest answer. To which Logan replies the meme of that no, little Mexican girl so saying, why not both? And see, this is why Logan will not turn the comments on because this guy Glenn comes in and says, why not both? And you pay the people back for crypto yes, Like I mean, at this point, Logan is notorious for blocking blocking. people for even mentioning crypto zoo. Like for someone who tries to act so hard in these little clips he posts, he has to be one of the softest people when it comes to criticism I've ever seen. Like it is beyond clear he wants nothing but yes men around him at all times, even in his Twitter Why comments. Is that and I want you guys out there to remain fresher than Logan. And that's why I'm teaming up with Y'all gonna support. Oh. Also, side fucking note, bro. I just did a sponsorship. <laughs> Some of y'all got up my goddamn nerves. I just did a goddamn sponsorship. You feel me? Which I almost never do. I never do sponsorships. But the one time, one of the very few times I do a sponsorship, people in the fucking comments talking about, oh, um, I'm about to skip this. Y'all go support. I get it. I do it. I do it to everybody. So I don't give a fuck. You can skip the goddamn video by any means. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. But don't fucking announce it in the comments like a dummy. Of course, the, the fucking sponsor gonna see it. Why would you play me like that? I wanted to block the fuck out of y'all who did that. Cause why? Why would you? Why would you represent me like that? Like, come on. Where's the fucking common sense, bro? Like, <laughs> I appreciated the couple people who were vague with it. They were discreet. They were just like, y'all go support. Like laughing emoji. So that's like an inside joke. People who know, we know what you're talking about. But those of you who spelled it out, like, 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 like a special ed <laughs> fucking student. I'm not gonna watch this. I'm about to skip this. But y'all go support. 
You are stupid. Why would you do that? Why would you play me like that? Like, God damn. I was so irritated. <laughs> I'm like, what the sponsor? They gonna look at the video, look at the comments, and see some people saying like, oh, they don't. Her audience are saying they're not even going to watch it, that they're about to skip it. They probably thinking like, why would we continue to work with her? And I really fuck with them. They're the only sponsor that I will work with. God damn. Oh, <laughs> if that happens again and they can do that, I'm blocking you. Because that's just stupid. You being stupid. Just say go support if you want to make the little tire joke. Sure, everybody's saying that. Cool. You want to make that joke? Cool. Just say go support. But to be like, I'm about to skip this ad. I'm not about to even watch it. But y'all go support video and here's where i was oh, talking about telling. people who are affiliated with the <laughs> oh, fight right. game speaking up about this again skip the ad i don't care because i just i just skip this nigga's ad all right it's okay to skip the ads but don't fucking announce it and and make me look bad god damn it again still in i like the pulse that's a perfectly pretty girl she's not my type i'm into boobs i'm into ad i'm not i'm not into that <laughs> she's saying that her reputation was her i don't know her name i know what she looks like <laughs> half naked i know a whole bunch of dudes names that she's been with i don't know her name there wasn't a reputation to damage Facts. that's what's in her head and i'm not trying to be a jerk about it but the most famous thing about her is that she's engaged to logan paul what is this lawsuit about like absolutely no one knew about this rock star model wife of his i mean she might as well have been a video vixen and she's smart because let's be honest as she she is aging out of her profession. Ooh. She grabbed onto Logan Paul with her claws and really sunk them in there, okay? She got the ring. And now he's running around acting like he was with like Tom Brady's ex-wife who was actually like Ooh, making more money than Tom, known internationally. Like, no, nobody knew this Who's woman. And here these? we have Anthony Joshua talking about the lawsuit. Has Dylan Dennis gone a bit too far? The family insults on Twitter? <laughs> you know, I'll be real. In this game of boxing, there are no rules, and the internet is undefeated. All your information is out there at the end of the day. What you put out there, you know, they will always come back around full circle. So unfortunately, they're using this as a war tactic, and, and you're at war. So there are no low blows. Anything, anything is acceptable in the art of war. And I think that's the right way to look at it. I mean, Logan can clap back, Logan can talk shit, but this whole flexing the lawsuit thing just comes off as so weak. Now, Ben Askew might have had the best comment about this whole situation. I don't think it's a problem. <laughs> you're gonna end up suing somebody. Or fighting them, cause you're insecure about the past. If it wasn't a big deal, you wouldn't make a big deal about it. Y'all are stupid. This is such an idiotic argument. Like I reacted to in the last fucking video, this nigga was doing too much. He took it way too far. Like, if you knew the details of the situation, you should be able to admit that, okay, yeah, he is doing a little too much. It's like, where's the doing someone? And obviously she's upset. She wants to push forward with the lawsuit. Like, she's the one that's bothered by it. What the fuck? This is not even on Logan Paul, really. Like, she's the one that, you know, this is, uh, that's being affected by this. That was my whole point. Find a woman in your life that you can be proud to be married to. That's that simple. So I'm, you're you, welcome. These are fake life. lives. It's and it's happening. absolutely true. Like if it didn't yeah, actually no, bother Logan, Logan, this whole lawsuit wouldn't be coming into play. I mean, now he's been sense. trying to say like, it oh, it's her sense. lawsuit, it's her thing. And I, you know, defend her right to do that. But no, we all know that Logan is just like a narcissist and oh. his ego got put into check. You know, something that represents him something that he if i was her i would be doing the exact same fucking thing like what the fuck why am i getting brought into this why is he tweeting over 300 times about me why is he using pictures that's not even on the internet he wasn't just using shit that's out there y'all keep saying that that's not what he was doing this was all covered in the last video so he was doing too much if i was her i would do the same thing no i want to sue the brakes off this nigga and logan that's his woman of course he gonna stand behind her it's his wife the fuck he loves got kind of exposed and this clip right here exemplifies exactly what i mean when i say that he's flexing this whole lawsuit like this guy thinks he's doing god's work i think dylan dennis has about sixty thousand dollars to his name Ooh. and that's being generous Ooh. now because of the lawsuit he has to fight you to make the money otherwise he's gonna declare bankruptcy but even then it doesn't end you put liens on every paycheck he gets for the rest of his life yeah that's trying to garnish his wages <laughs> I mean, you man. can see even the third co-host there is like, man, that is a bitch at... I don't give a fuck what you niggas is talking about. Don't run your mouth and do weird shit if you don't want the fucking consequences. 
fuck out of here. He did way too much. Again, I'm not repeating myself. It's in the last video. <laughs> All the details of what he was doing. It's too far. It's doing too much. So, fuck that. Oh, that's real. What you doing now? Should have thought about that before you start doing all this weird shit and coming after this woman. He came after her so hard. It's not even about her. It's about Logan. His beef is with Logan. That's so, Logan. yes, garnish like those fucking wages. This guy went fuck out, out of here, and then agreed to fight Logan. And now that, you know, he doesn't like the way he decided to promote the fight, he's essentially saying, well, now I'm going to ruin your entire life. Get a little Period. piece of every single check that you earn Period. from here. Like, it really wasn't that serious. It's just some internet trolling. And now you want to, like... Very rich. Very rich for y'all to say that because it's not you. It's not you. How would you feel if someone close to you, your woman or your your sister or your close relative was crying and upset because this nigga is, is bullying her online and showing these these pictures of her that was not even released? That was one of the big things that she was upset about. He was revealing pictures that were not even released. It wasn't just on the internet. So, what the fuck? And it's just internet trolling. It's not a big deal. Shut up. That don't make, that don't make sense. I don't agree with that. Into jail. You want to drain his whole bank account. Yes. Ruin any future prospects yes. he has of making money. Yes. And you know when Brendan <laughs> Shop of all people is stepping in as the voice of reason? You must be making some serious mistakes. So Brendan says in reply to the video I just showed you guys. Oh, this is all this stupid. Me out. Yard. First rule this fight club. Don't sue another fighter built in the fight. So it does seem to me like the whole fight world kind of unanimously agrees that this is just not a cool move from Logan. And this was Logan's yeah, response to Brendan Logan? Shaw where That's he says, so It bums me out that three weeks women? ago. Have y'all ever had a woman that you love and care about? What? With you Nina's lawsuit. I'm sure she was on his ass, even if he didn't want to do it. His hands are fucking tied. Have y'all ever had a woman that you love that's close to you? I'm confused at the confusion. I'm confused that y'all niggas is confused. Details because of your ignorance. And your response was, oh Jesus, did not know that, not cool. Then you come on here talking about fight club rules like you're the referee. Like and look, he said, I DM you Nina's lawsuit details. So he like, so you can have all the facts and know exactly what's going on and how this is too far and how this is affecting her. Because of your ignorance, because you, you maybe maybe you just don't know. Maybe because that's what I initially said when I reacted to the last video. I also was just like, uh, that you trying to sue him? Uh, it's just trolling. It's not that deep. Until I heard the details, and my mind immediately changed. It's it's in the last reaction to this situation, this Logan Paul situation. So if it's it's one thing, if you just don't know, then sure, educate yourself, find out about it. But once you get the details, and you still saying that. I think that's stupid. And it's really interesting that Jamari, he knows all the details and he's still saying, oh, it's not that deep. What? What? I'm talking a lot. So let me speak this up. No, he's just saying that you're acting like a bitch. He says this twisted promotion has gone far beyond the fight game and you know that. I mean, not really, dude. He's posting pictures from Google. This is where he says, plus another you one. You that that's he not a fight it. With an innocent woman who is standing up for herself the only way she can by holding a legally accountable for breaking the law. Any person who doesn't understand that is a delusional. Her lawsuit I is agree. Her choice, and I fully support her. Like Logan, give it a Her choice. We all know you're the one behind this lawsuit. We all know you're the one behind closed doors just breaking down. Y'all just, just want to hate Logan at this point. That's what it comes down to. Exactly. He likes yes women around him. If you don't follow his rules and say he's the best, I think he cuts you out of his crew. You know, his friends say Any he's woman with Jesus, what? he kicks him out of his crew. And I just think that he's it's full of himself. So There's not one person that ever met me that's that one bad person. But the way he treats his family, the way he treats his brother. You just tell he's not a good guy. And it's just interesting because he brings up this topic of Logan kicking George off his podcast and out of his life. We all know that him and George had at the very least been having some DMs back and forth. He was apparently going to go on to George's new talk show. And it really does make me think that behind the scenes, George has been kind of spilling the beans about Logan and talking about how much of a monster he can really be to his apparent friends and family. And this clip right here to me only further shows that that is likely the truth. I don't know him personally, but I heard that whoever's around him, that they don't agree with what he does. It, like he agrees on, he kicks him out of their group, but makes them sign NDAs where they can't talk about things. And so he's just an egotistical like maniac. He can't handle that. I'm making a narrative. And I think it's very true. Like him turning off the comments is very telling. I think that when he cannot control the narrative surrounding his name, it just like breaks his brain, it breaks his ego. Because obviously after what happens in Japan, I think everyone else kind of had more control over the way the general public felt about him. And he had regained a lot of that power back. He had regained He was a lot throwing Pokeballs in the cars in Japan. To see him in a different light over the last couple of years. <laughs> and I think recently with the crypto zoo stuff, with all the insistent trolling on Twitter, it's like his whole reputation just went all the way back down, maybe even further than it was after that whole incident occurred.
Now, here's where things get really crazy. It's multiple people accuse Logan of being on the juice. Whatever compounds Logan is taking, his body is having a really hard time hiding it. His traps are separated from his neck. His triceps look constantly flexed as if he just got done milking a cow. His biceps look so grainy and full, it makes no sense. And boxing, in and of itself, is not conducive to building new muscle mass. Very true. That man Philion always coming through with his third eye of truth. And here's Dylan's explanation as to why he thinks that Logan Paul is on that juice. Do you know why the guys in the UFC were... It was a set time. You have to take a piss test. Yeah. And everybody knows you can beat that. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, yeah. So the reason you saw Nevada are so effective is because during camp, they do random times. So you don't know when it's coming. So that's why it's hard to beat those tests. And you still can't play. It's very hard. Right? Yeah. So Logan now, now that I brought it up, wants to do testing. And he wants to do a set date on before the fight. Okay? So he did the cycle. He did whatever. And now he's going to try to take a piss test and clear it. And be like, oh, clean. That doesn't count. Okay? It doesn't count. But the money that he has, you can have a daughter clean your system in over 24 hours. So him doing this, this is another scam that he does. He's a bullshit artist. He just lies. You know, everybody knows he's on juice. And I don't even care about the servers. Like, it's, just, it's just like, what are we doing here? He has every advantage. He gets to pick the reps. He gets to pick and judge. It's like, come on. So he's essentially saying there that Logan knows when the pop quiz is coming. And that there are methods that professional athletes in every single sport use to pass these type of tests time and time again, okay? These people are working with the most advanced doctors, the most advanced trainers in the entire world. And those guys definitely know how to flush the system. I mean, is anyone actually gonna look at this man right here and say that there is no chance that he's on the gear? And it's gonna be interesting to see if this whole crypto zoo situation develops further. I don't know, I just have this feeling in the back of my mind that the CoffeeZilla arc with Logan Paul in this whole situation is really not over. And he might come with a bombshell right before the fight just to mess with Logan's mind. Logan Paul reportedly offered crypto zoo victims only five to 10% of their losses. I mean, let's say I shelled out $100,000 onto CryptoZoo. I'm just an idiot, right? Obviously, the project never worked. It was kind of like a false advertisement type of thing. And then he wants to come back and say, okay, well, out of your 100000 I think I can give you like 5,000 shekels. I mean, he pushed and promoted this project like it was going to be the best thing since sliced bread. I hit him with the right, right there. And I, I felt him drop a little bit. And Jake goes, he's hurt. So I said, this is it. I, yeah, it, it, it closed out immediately. A little too yeah. far. Dude, Floyd was never in danger during this fight. So I said, this is it. I, and I found this to be very strange, okay? To me, Logan Paul was essentially already setting up his excuses, like that time LeBron came out with the little cast. What about the other wrist? What's going on there? Uh, bro yeah. Broken. Broke my wrist. So are you able to fight? Yeah, I'm able to fight for sure. When did this happen? Uh, a couple days ago in, in training. How did it happen? Just a punch. I landed a punch wrong and uh, had some wrist problems. I broke my wrist in the past. And then I don't know if his brain is just scattered or what, or, you know, he's doing things and then like 30 minutes later he's realizing like, oh, maybe this wasn't a good idea. So then he comes out with this comment. I'll be honest, bro, I didn't break my wrist, all right? I didn't break my wrist. Oh, I know, I lied, I lied. Because Wait, I'll tell you why, content? bro. No, because I'll tell you why. Because I'm not trying to scare Dylan away from this fight. You're in a tension war. In, in many ways. I mean, oh, the black guy is the only one speaking facts on this whole podcast. Because you know that kid in high school that really didn't break his shit, but what? Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> and the nah, he's already making excuses. So I figured if I came out here and said I broke my wrist, he'd be like, oh. But now you just gave up the bit so fast. Yeah, yeah. You, should, you should put it back on. Give me the wrist. Yeah, yeah. All I know is that this whole situation has just been a really bad look for Logan no. in general. I don't think he expected this much fire to come from Dylan's way because I do think that they've been going back and forth for the last couple of years. And in general, at least like the public perception was always that Dylan was taking L after L. Personally, I'm hoping he takes the biggest W of all in the ring. I mean, for Logan, I think either way, win or loss, this has been like a net negative for him. And for Dylan, whether he wins or loses, I think it's like a huge net positive. Like a lot of people have learned who he is, kind of what he's about. And he will definitely be able to sell another fight either way. But y'all let me know what you got. Yes, I hope Logan wins because Dylan was doing too damn much. And I think it's very interesting that all of these guys are saying that Logan is being a bitch by allowing this lawsuit. It's not even his goddamn lawsuit. It's his woman's lawsuit. But he's a bitch by allowing it. But y'all not saying that Dylan is a bitch for attacking his woman. He tweeted about her over 300 times or something crazy. Like he was attacking her relentlessly just to get at Logan. And y'all think she's supposed to just sit back and be cool with it? With him attacking her, that came with other people then coming and attacking her and making fun of her and, and, and trying to troll her because they don't like Logan. She don't want to deal with that bullshit. She has nothing to do with this fight. That's not cool. And again, he released personal shit about her that was not already out there. This was covered in the last goddamn video. So of course she's going to be upset of course she's gonna wanna push through this fucking lawsuit. And if Logan was just like, nah, I'm, trying to, I'm not trying to like no bitch, so nah, you, you can't do this lawsuit. What? What? That would never fly with no woman ever, anywhere. Are y'all slow? What are you talking about? So this is not on Logan. I think people making that comment, y'all just don't fuck with Logan, just say that. Say what it is, you just don't like him and you wanna twist the narrative to make it seem like he's the problem, he the bitch. Oh my God, how dare you allow this?
what what women have y'all ever had? Please let me know, cause it's not the math ain't mathing. No woman would be okay with this, and and just be like, okay, I'm I'm gonna just let it happen because you have to have your fights. I'm just gonna get attacked and have personal information about me, leak personal pictures that aren't already out there to the public, and I'm cool with it. No, she's pissed as she should be, and she wants to sue as the fuck she should. I would sue too. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know what other videos you're gonna watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.